Today's topic is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The first thing to see here is suit on a man which reminds us of Pseudomonas. Also he is always in need of air from this fan telling us that this is about Pseudomonas aeruginosa. This gentleman wearing a suit is always in the need of air. So this tells us it is an obligate aerobe. Also what does air have? Oxygen. So it follows oxidative metabolism and does not show fermentation. Also he is a tall man telling you that it is a bacilli and I have used this evening reddish background to represent gram negativity. So it is a gram negative bacilli. Like old British style, he is wearing a hat, which tells us that it is a capsular organism. He has brought along a pet, a cat, which tells us that it is a catalase positive organism. The man has come to buy some pies from this pie shop. The pies remind us of pyocyanin, which is a blue-green pigment, just like the color of this shop. You can see they are putting grapes inside the pies. This reminds us that Pseudomonas gives a fruity grape-like odor. Let's look at the diseases caused by Pseudomonas. The man has come to visit his friend in the hospital. The hospital implies that Pseudomonas causes hospital-acquired infections. His friend is a swimmer. The swimmer implies that Pseudomonas causes swimmer's ear, which is also known as otitis externa. The swimmer also implies that Pseudomonas causes infection in moist environment. The lens used for checkup implies that Pseudomonas causes contact lens infections. You can see the swimmer wearing a green cap. The green color reminds us of green nail syndrome and ecthymia gangrenosum. In front of the pie shop, there is a fire where there are a lot of burnt material which implies that Pseudomonas causes burn wound infections. On the fire, you can see a cheese on stick. Cheese stick reminds us of cystic fibrosis. The man has also bought a new oxygen cylinder. It implies that Pseudomonas causes ventilator associated pneumonia. Lastly, we come to the treatment. You can see the fire is a campfire. The word campfire reminds us about the treatment of Pseudomonas, which stands for carbapenems, aminoglycosides, monobactams, polymyxine, fluoroquinolones, third and fourth generation cephalosporins, and extended spectrum penicillin. That's it for today's video. Do let me know if you like my content by a like, comment, and share. And if you want to stay for more content like this, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Thank you for watching.